We turn now to the high-stakes standoff gripping the Middle East. Today, Israeli strikes kill 28 Palestinians, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, as the world waits to see if a truce is possible or if full-scale war is just around the corner. ABC's Alex Marquat reports from Gaza on Middle East on the brink. Day six of this escalation and the rocket fire between Israel and the Gaza Strip remains as strong and destructive as ever. While tonight there's talk of a ceasefire, here in Gaza it feels a long way away. It was like hell. It's war. They're bombing everywhere. Today at this refugee camp in northern Gaza, children were sweeping up the debris from blown up buildings. This is not the kind of life Mohammed Matar wants for his four-year-old daughter. And I want her to live in peace. No one, no one wants war. No one. All of us needs the peace. But what kind of peace we need? This is the question. Israel is ready to escalate their operation, dubbed pillar of defense, if a deal cannot be reached. Israeli tanks and troops have been massing along the border for days, and the army has called up 40,000 reservists. Israel is prepared to take whatever action is necessary to defend our people. Today, Hamas said the ball is in Israel's court. I say that we are not against a truce, Hamas's top leader said, because we did not start the war. Until then, the carnage continues. More than 100 people have been killed in Gaza, almost half civilians, and three in Israel. Yesterday, the deadliest attack on the deadliest day. An Israeli strike killed 11 people in one house, nine from a single family, including a mother and her four children. Today, the bodies of the Dalu family were taken from the morgue for burial. Emotions here are extremely high. The deaths of so many innocents has infuriated Gaza. For most here, there is no thinking about a ceasefire. With all the children and innocents being killed, do you want Hamas to keep firing at Israel? What did they do to be killed like that, this man told us. We ask all the Palestinian groups to retaliate for these massacres. Israel says Hamas is using civilians as human shields by launching missiles from populated areas. Israel says it has taken down some 350 of the rockets fired from Gaza with its sophisticated Iron Dome missile shield. It was developed with the help of the U.S., which contributed $200 million to fund it. So far, it's been very effective. Israel says it has hit 90 percent of the missiles heading for populated areas. It's also expensive. Every interceptor missile it fires off costs as much as $100,000. Almost 700 rockets have landed in Israel. Here, one hit a girls' school in the southern city of Ashkelon. Thankfully, it was empty. Classes had been canceled since the fighting started. The air raid sirens forcing people to stay home and take cover in bomb shelters. Civilians on both sides of this conflict are in the line of fire tonight. Some of the most vulnerable, children. Palestinian and Israeli alike running for cover as missiles fly in. But it won't be until the adults sit down and hash out a deal that they'll be safe. And as is always the question in this part of the world, if peace does come, how long will it last? For Nightline, I'm Alex Marquardt in the Gaza Strip.